you know what kind of an attorney you might need to see for your Act 3 planning, retirement and beyond? Most people don't, but they do need to plan. We meet with clients all the time who come in thinking that they need to protect assets from the nursing home, and they find out that they actually need new wills, trusts, and powers of attorney, or the other way around. Here to give us some Act 3 planning tips is my law partner, Mike Solomon. Hi, Lori. So welcome back to the show. So what are some of the options for planning with an attorney for your Act 3? Well, you know, for Act 3, you, you want to do estate planning, estate planning and long-term care planning. Those are basically the two issues. Sometimes it's one, sometimes the other, or, or it could be both. Okay, well, let's talk about those starting with estate planning. Well, estate planning, as you know, is kind of sitting down, figure out what's going to happen with your, your assets and, and how they go to your family if you retire or you're disabled or you pass away. So that's, that's an important uh, part of it. Mm -hmm. You, you, know, you want to get your legal affairs, your financial affairs in order so that you, know, you can pass your assets along that you've accumulated during life to your family at the least tax cost financial cost and also the emotional cost of it. So that's, that's important. So you need to sit down maybe with the family, discuss any you know, issues that might be out there, and then most importantly, you need to think about the documents. And typically, it's a will. Everyone needs a will. Mm -hmm. Trust, sometimes you need them, sometimes you don't, but that's another document. Uh, durable power of attorney, sometimes called a financial power of attorney, that you know important to, uh, to, so people can handle your finances while you're alive. Healthcare power and living will. So you should look at all of those things and, and plan around them. Okay, well, then what about long-term care planning? Okay, well, long-term care planning is also an important thing, obviously. And, and um, so you need to uh, sit down and focus on what would happen if, if, uh, if you had to go into long-term care or medical treatment. You did medical treatment. And that involves uh, sometimes estate planning and sometimes long-term care planning work together. Sometimes they're separately. Uh, and you need to look at certain programs such as uh, VA and Medicaid, which are the only government programs that pay for long-term care costs if you want home care or maybe assisted living and of course a long-term care facility. So you want to look at those, but as we've talked about on the show, those are very complicated. The rules have changed recently, we've talked about a few weeks ago, and you, if you want to be able to qualify for those programs, you have to satisfy complicated net worth rules and income rules. You really need to sit down with an attorney who does that sort of planning if you want to do that uh, planning to, to take advantage of those programs. Okay, so how do we find an attorney who can help us with all of these things? Well, the best way I think to find one is, you know, talk with you know, family members and friends and neighbors and see who they used. That's one way to do it. That's a fairly traditional way. Uh, the other thing to do is to find an attorney that when you do find them, interview them, make sure that they, you know, they're, they're someone you can work with, that the personalities click and that mm -hmm. they, they're competent in their area and they're working for you to get your goals. And you might look, uh, there are a lot of certifications out there right now. For example, there's an elder law certification, both at a federal level and a state level. There is a, there's a certification for estate planning and probate and trust work that's under Ohio law. Uh, there's a special certification for, uh, for federal, for VA benefits. So look at all those sorts of things. And then finally, you know, online is a big thing now, of course. Mm -hmm. People go online to look for attorneys. There are a lot of websites like Avo and Fine Law and uh, Martindale Hubble, uh, you know, that they give rankings of attorneys. So that's another place to go if you're looking. All right, great tips. Mike is right. This is really important planning, and you need to leave it to the pros. Find the best help an attorney to plan for your Act 3 with his tips. For more detailed information, pick up this month's issue of Boomer and Beyond magazine or call Mike at the number that's next. Call Solomon, Steiner, and Peck at 1-888-236-5173 for more information or to schedule a speaker for your organization or log on to www.ssnplaw.com. Thanks for joining us. We're preempted for the next four weeks so you can enjoy amazing sports program like the Summer Olympics in Rio. But be sure to mark your calendar for August 28th when we return and help you avoid high blood pressure, introduce you to a senior concierge, identify home caregiver issues, warn you about the kitty tax, and offer assistance as you make strides to a healthy weight. But until then, please remember to make the most of your golden opportunities. If you'd like to join our kitchen conversation, visit our website, www.goldenopportunities.tv. Like us on Facebook. Call us at 440-742-GO-TV or email us at kitchen at goldenopportunities.tv. We'd love to hear from you.
Golden Opportunities is paid for by Elder Productions.